birthday, I was sending the cars, I was sending the teddy bears, I was doing what I was supposed to do. The cars and teddy bears don't do What's up, YouTube? What's cool? What's cool? What's happening? It's time for life, and it's also time for another love after luck, baby. So today, we are looking at Quaylon and Chevelle. I like this couple, and what I like even more than this couple is the cousin of Chevelle, D-Mark. That guy just tells it like it is. So. Basically, they're at this party. Chevelle has just gifted Quaylon this $5,000 truck, which he cannot drive because he doesn't have a driver's license. The moms each think that the other person is trying to profit off of their child. So Quaylon is trying to profit off of Chevelle. Chevelle is trying to profit off of Quaylon, which you might think, well, how does that one work? I mean, she's established, she's got her money. I heard somewhere she's a rapper. But yeah, she's got her money, she's got her thing going on. Um. So what would she try, what, how is she trying to profit off of him, who's just come out of jail, doesn't have a job, doesn't have anything, doesn't even have, can't, can't drive, can't do a lot of things, has a lot of restrictions, has a lot of, like he's not set up like that. So what is she profiting off of him? But yet that's what his mom said to Chevelle's mom because they were having this kind of argument. Look, I wouldn't say anything like that. The girl has bought your son a $5,000 truck, which you haven't even had time to, to, to lavish you know to, to, to just shower him like that so i would be quiet even if somebody were to insult my kid i know the truth i know my kid i know i would know what my kid is like i would just be like just keep it cordial just keep it cool because now everybody's beefing and they're at this party and everybody looks miserable i have never seen a party where people's faces are just like hmm well i guess Hmm. That is one dry bum party and the cake wasn't big either, which is what I talked about in my last video. But anyway, we're just gonna get into it. We're gonna watch some clips and we're gonna see what they up to now. It's only a matter of time before it actually hit the fan. He's a grown man. He was 17 years old. That's the past, and now. So that's Quaylon's sister, and she just looks distraught because Chevelle wants him to be in whatever state she is. They obviously want her him to be wherever they are because they think that where she is is dangerous for him. So she's like, she's just had this this entire time. The only time I've seen the sister happy is when she embraced Quaylon for the first time after twelve years. I don't know why she didn't go to visit him like Chevelle did, but that's what she said for the first time in 12 years. And after that, she just had this kind of zoned out, kind of sad demeanor about her because she knows that she's not probably not going to be around her brother for a long time. And she's arguing that physically he's a man man. He's 29, but mentally he's still 20. He's still 17, like the age that he went into prison, into prison. So she has this zoned out look. I don't even know. Now he's 29, so I don't in the physical sense, but mentally, that boy is still a boy. That boy. Do you know how much money she spent on you, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? You fresh out, she want to get you cars. And Have my brother here in a place where he was and left pretty much for trouble. You can jump anywhere you go. That's mm -mm. Oh, so <laughs> look at how his sister's turning around like. Now, you know very well that you get into trouble everywhere you go, but you can limit the amount of trouble you can get into. Like, come on, come on, come on. And yeah, these shots that they do, they're very interesting. They're all up in Chevelle's hair, like, anywho. How I look at it. She got a whole little daughter. Right. Daddy ain't dead. Mm -hmm. So, I'm so, there, though. every birthday I was sending the cars, I was sending the teddy bears. I was doing what I was supposed to do. The cars and teddy bears don't do This is my thing. Yes, the cards and the teddy bears, they're cute. It's different to walk around a girl who say, why do you smell like that? I don't like that you smell. Why? If you smell like that, you need a shower. That's what she said in the last video that I did that I'll put up here. But yeah, that's what I did. This girl was like, why do you smell like that? She's like, this guy doesn't even smell fresh. This is all after Chevelle was telling us about how they done the tan 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 so many times that night. Anyway. So yeah, it's different when you're out in the real world and you now have to take care of this kid and be like, don't say this, don't do that, don't touch that, like brush here, br brush your, your teeth, 
Uh, don't go to bed uh, without brushing your teeth. Don't eat so many sweeties. Don't put your hands in the cookie jar all the time. Don't do this. Let me help you with homework. Oh, you're being bullied. Now you're crying. Let me help you. Let me sing a lullaby. Let me talk to you. Let me leave everything that I'm doing. I've come back from work. I'm tired. I'm stressed. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. But I need to talk to you because you're my stepkid. Like, that's a whole different type of life that people like. He doesn't have a kid, so he doesn't know what that's like. And for real, I agree with Demark. Like, that stuff is... It's serious. It is not to be taken lightly at all. Like that's really hardcore. So I agree with him. When everything calms down and everybody done from right. being drunk and kicking in and being like, oh, welcome home, Quaylen. Welcome, welcome, right. welcome home. Well, y'all can be set, set in. in. Job set, set in. Right. Bill set, set in. in. Kids set, set in. in. Right. Then yeah, what? And you want me to say, yeah, I'm a user. Yeah, I'm a f around on and all that, but that ain't the case. I give it six months. That's just me reaching. Might be three. <laughs> Teamwork is really something. Instead of him, like, kind of, I know it's hard to support this, but now that Chevelle is all up in this, like, all up in it, like, all kinds of in love and butterflies and all the rest of it, it would be better to support her so that this actually goes well than to be like, nah, nope, mm -mm. I'm not supporting this, like, I'm not supporting this off the jump. Like, that's not gonna help, and it's not gonna help Chevelle or that little girl who are now so attached to this guy, you know? But I get his concern, I really do. Look at the dry bomb party. Everybody's looking like, oh, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm not marrying his family, but. Oh, baby, but that's where you're wrong. When you marry a person, you most definitely marry their family because they're gonna be all up in your life, all up in your business, all up in his ear, telling him what to do. And this is a problem, generally speaking. Okay, this guy has been to prison. He hasn't been able to, to have mommy cuddles and mommy advice for 12 years. And advice about things in the real world, not in prison. Not that that's not living, not that that's not hard and you have to get by and you need your advice and you go through a lot of things. But the real life also has its other things. And 12 years is a long time. Like if I even think about iPhone releases, 12 years ago, we, we had some serious bricks going on 12 years ago. Like so many things have changed. You come out, you come out of prison, everything is different. Like this is serious. Like he will really need to adapt and he will need his mom. Or maybe he won't. Maybe Chevelle will be all that he needs. But anyway, that notion that she's not married to the family is completely wrong. If anybody ever thinks that you're completely wrong, like especially a guy like this that has not been around his family for a long time and has missed out on a lot and wants to experience a lot, that's normally speaking what somebody would want to do. Yeah, this could be problematic. That's all I'm saying. Do you feel like everyone is judging you right now? He sure does. I mean, look at the faces. I mean, look at them. Depressing. <laughs> yeah, you guys, that was it. That That is one depressing party. Join me tomorrow when we talk about another juicy couple. New videos every single day. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump stump as soon as that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Is D Mark right or is he tripping? And while she had to hit the notification bell, I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Regular daily videos up on this channel, baby. Why are you not part of the gang gang? Why are you not part of the family? Like I die. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.